Good morning, grade one students. How are you all feeling today? I hope you all are feeling very, very nice, happy, and you all are feeling relaxed. Yes, your minds are uh, relaxed. You all are energetic. You are, your tummies are full. Yeah, nobody is feeling sleepy. Yes, no one is feeling sleepy. Wow, that's great. Now, as you all know, now this is today is your second day of your week number 16, right? This is your 16th week and today is your second day of week 16. And this is your literacy class and here I am, teacher Shaista, taking your literacy period. I hope you all are ready to learn something. Yes, you all? Wow, that's great. Very good. Now. What we are going to learn today is grammar. You know how important is grammar part in your language? Grammar is very, very important in language. Wherever you go, whatever you write, grammar is always there. It counts a lot. Your marks are count because of your grammar. Sometimes you make silly mistakes. Your text is very good. Everything is good, but your grammar is not correct. So you are going to lose marks. Yes or no? So, today what we are going to learn, we are going to learn some words and what type of words are those? Like suppose if I say that I am happy or your teacher is feeling very happy. So, what would be the opposite of happy? Sad, correct. The teacher is feeling very sad or my students are very sad. So this is what we are going to learn. We are going to learn opposites. And there is one more part of grammar that we are, that what, uh, we are going to learn. But first, I will just explain you what opposites are. Opposites are some words which are really, really very different. Okay? But sometimes what happens, children, that we just have to add two or uh, one or two letter to make it opposite. Like suppose I say the uh, I am happy, the opposite of happy would be sad, the opposite of good would be bad, the opposite of a big will be small, right? So, but sometimes what happens, you just need to add two letters and that are un. Like suppose I have written happy, now the opposite of uh, happy would be sad also, but the opposite of happy would be un. Happy. Unhappy. So what you have added here? We have added only un. Unhappy. Happy, unhappy. Tidy, again, untidy. You just have to write down un to make opposite. You understand? In the same way, lock, unlock. Lock, unlock, right? Here, tie, untie. Roll, unroll. So these are also opposite, but if you write opposite of happy, sad, that is also correct. But here, what we were doing, our main task was to write down the opposite with un. The un uh, uh, opposites were using un, you and un, unhappy, unsad, untidy, unroll, like that. So these are also opposite, but if you write down opposite, uh, the other opposite, like I have told you, of uh, happy, like sad, that is also correct. But if you are asked to write down opposite using un, then you have to write down like this, okay? So this was the first task that you were supposed to learn today. Right? According, uh, related to this task, what you are going to do, you are going to write down the opposite of these words which are given in section A on page 75 of your Nelson English. Just write down the opposites in your notebook. It is very easy. There are only four of them. So you can easily do this in five minutes and your time starts now. All right, class. Time is up. Time is up. You all have done the work. Show me. Wow, that's great. Good job. Teacher is very happy because you have done it very nicely. Now comes the second task. 
Now, what is your second task? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Our second task for today is about O, A, O, E and O, W words. Now, what happens, class? That these words, the sound of these words are the same. Like if you see the sound of road, what is the spelling of road? R O A D. Road, shown, hope. Now, all these words have O A O E and O W. Their sounds are the same. Like toe, coat, road, blow, snow, rope. They have the same sound. So, we are going to sort out the words into, into these uh, three patterns. Okay? I'm going to show you my word flower and over here there are different words written which are O, A, O, W and O, E. Okay. Now, first you are going to read the words with me. What is this word? Toe, foam, loan, crow, Pillow, uh, yellow, gold, blow, pillow, load, road, and boat. Now these are different words of O, A, O, E, and O, W. Got it? Now, what are you going to do? You are going to tell me the words of OA first from here. And I'm going to write on my whiteboard. Then OE and then OW. Okay? Are you all ready? All right. There you go. Can you all see my screen? Great. Okay. So first comes the O. O A. O A words, right? Okay, now what are the O A words? Pillow, blow, goal. Yes, goal. G O A L. Goal. Then yellow, boat. Yes, boat. B O A T. Boat. Then comes loan. Yes, L O A N. Loan. Then comes foam. F O A M form and then comes load also. Yes, L O A D. So you see how many words they are. Goal. You know what? What is your goal? The meaning of goal is you might have some goal, or you can. There is another meaning of goal is you have uh, made a goal in football. Then boat. You know the meaning of boat. Loan means to lend something. Form is a kind of a uh, material and then load it is very heavy uh, this thing is of a very heavy load right so these were o a words now let's find out o e words what are o e toe very good to toe then o e words uh, only toe only toe is there Yes, do I have any other OE words here? Let me check it out. Um, OE words. Rope. R O P E, rope. Right? Okay, now comes the next words, uh, which are O W. Now come on, find out O W pillow. Very good. Okay. Next is after pillow. Uh, o W yellow. Y E double L O W yellow. Then comes uh, crow. C R O W crow. Then comes. Uh, that's it. Okay. That's it. Blow can also, we can also write down blow. We can also write down snow. 
and we can also write down uh, grow right so you know the meaning of pillow you know the meaning of yellow you know the meaning of grow you know the meaning of blow to blow something snow you know the meaning of snow and you know the meaning of grow so these are different words which have the same you can see if you read the words you will find out that their sounds are also the same like bowl boat loan home load toe rope pillow yellow crow blow snow and grow so you see how these words their their sounds are almost the same right do you understand okay so now what you are going to do is now you are going to open your page number let's say 76 and you have to do part number a that read the sentences about jack in the red box above and listen carefully and now look at the words in the box sort each word into the right group like we have done just now so you all have to write down the words in the right group. You all have to make three columns, write down OA words, OE words, and OW words, and sort them out, right? Once you have written this, then we are going to check it out whether it is correct or not, okay? So I'm going to give you, let's say, eight minutes, and your time starts now. All right, time is up. Time is up. Okay, let's sort it out. Let's see whether you have done it correctly or not. Now, first word is OA. What are the OA words? Come on. Boat, very good. Coat, very good. Toe, very good. Road, very good. That's it. Very good. Now comes OW. What are the OW words? Blow, very good. Snow, very good. Grow, very good. And then that's it. Okay, now comes OE words. Rope, very good. Note, very good. Smoke, very good. Broke, very good. Good job. That means that you all are now very, very clear with different types of, different patterns of words. These were the different patterns of words whose sounds were the same. You know how to sort them out according to their <coughs> excuse me according to their patterns right and so it means that what was the task for today you learned two things the first thing was <coughs> excuse me opposites you have learned how to make opposites using un <coughs> and then the second one was different pattern of words i hope it is clear to you all <coughs> and you will be able to do your work that i'm going to post on your portal right okay so see you next time in your science lesson bye bye children